Please unmute your mic, ma'am. Welcome to the induction meeting by IGNU Regional Center, Cochin. This is mainly the guidelines for each learner while on roles of IGNU for study. And what you have to do as a learner and what the university facilities are for you to avail of during the course of the study. So how to study with IGNU? Let us start with that. Actually, you should know the objectives and features of IGNU uh, as it is given in the prospectus, it's mainly to promote educational well-being and it has wide uh, array of academic programs on offer and it has flexibility in terms of place, space and duration of study, which means suppose you are want to change your study center from uh, uh, any of the LSEs under Cochin, you can still continue it and by asking for the change. And even if you want to go outside India, that is also permissible. The achievements of IGNU are the recognition as center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning, the award of excellence for distance education material by Commonwealth of Learning. The UNESCO has declared IGNU as the largest institution of higher learning in the world uh, in 2010. And it has the largest network of learning support system it has been accredited as 10 uh, A++ plus plus by NAC in 2021. You may be asking why we have to share this. This is what your um, alma mater is going to be or the host institution where you have enrolled to study is of uh, the profile. How to study with IGNU? Please know the deadlines. The deadlines are a little extendable when it comes to the policy of the university. Know the rules which govern your program of study and know the prerequisites, what you have to do before the exam, what you have to do before the practicals, what you have to do before writing the assignment response. And it is going to be independent learning. Nobody is going to remind each one of you uh, of whether you want to study or not, because we always assume there is a minimum period of study and maximum period of study. Uh, uh, for it to complete, meaning the minimum period is the minimum duration of the program for, say, example, two years or three years. And it can be extended to the maximum period at, depending upon the program. So it will be assumed that you self-face the study so that you will uh, ensure that access into the program leads to successful completion. And what you have to do when you are studying with IGNU, please do the self-check exercises while studying with the study material and attend online theory counseling. As per the new education policy, the uh, online uh, theory counseling has been resorted by the university and do the assignment question after studying. And old question paper is also available in the IGNU website. So with this, you are just listening to how to study with IGNU. Now we are just moving on to the significance of enrollment number, the difference between fresh admission and re-registration, the minimum and maximum period of study made available at IGNU. And also you'll be knowing about the IGNU Regional Center Cochin and the facilities at IGNU, uh, the Learner Support Center. So this will, these topics will be shared by Mrs. Sujini Babu. Over to Madam, please. Uh, good afternoon, dear learners. Uh, today, I'm going to share some details on the program you have enrolled. Enrollment number allotted to you by the university. Difference between fresh admission and re-registration. Uh, your study center maximum period to complete the program. That means validity of your registration. So first, uh, regarding your program, uh, dear friends, are you aware of what you all have to know while studying with IGNO related to the program of study? You should know the program code, program title, the course code, and the course title. For example, if you have enrolled for Masters in Psychology, MAPC is your program code, and the program title is Masters of Masters of Arts in Psychology. 
so the program code and the course code varies from uh, course to co uh, program to program so you have to uh, go through the program guide and the prospectus to know about your program co uh, program uh, code and the course code related course code now for uh, for example mapc uh, mpc1 mpc2 mb3 uh, mpc3 like that we have many course codes so uh, you go through your uh, program guide then you will come to know about your pro uh, course codes now enrollment number allotted to you by the university so what is enrollment number where you can find your enrollment number the answer is once you submit your online application form for admission and your admission is confirmed you will be allotted with a unique number which is the enrollment number for those who have registered till 2019 july session uh, enrollment number has nine digits and now uh, after uh, from january 2020 enrollment number has 10 digits the university and what is the purpose of the uh, enrollment number the university identify the student by the enrollment number therefore it is mandatory to mention your enrollment number while you communicate with the university regarding your program whenever you send an email you mention your enrollment number and your program code enrollment number is mentioned in your university identity card which can be downloaded from igno website now what is the difference between fresh admission and re-registration when you come to the regional center or study center you will be asked of whether you are a fresh student or a rr student hence first you should know the difference between fresh admission and re-registration when you register with igno for the first time either for first semester or first year for any program is on offer is called fresh admission whereas re-registration is when you register for your second semester or second year after an year or a semester and it is not mandatory that you have to complete all components of your first year or first semester for re-registering your second year or second semester university has made it convenient to the student to take fresh admission and also take re-registration through online from the igno website www.igno.ac.in now uh, let me brief you your study center the university has established a study center at various esteemed colleges or higher education institution each study center has its own unique center code for example uh, sacred heart college tevera it is one of our study centers of igno the study center code for sh is 1402 each study center has its own igno study center code so it is very important that you should know your study center code study center name and address for availing academic support and also for submission of assignment one important thing you have to keep in mind that regional center is not your study center next is maximum period to complete the program it indicate the validity of registration each program offered by the university has its minimum and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way it is very important that the learner is well aware of the validity period of your registration there there were instances like uh, the student submitting the project report or dissertation after expiry of the validity of registration and the result of the same has been withheld by the university if your registration is not valid none of the results after uh, once uh, your registration is uh, not valid if you give any exam or you submit your assignments it will not get updated in your grade, grade card so you keep in mind that you have to um, appear for the examination or you submit your assignments everything should be within your registration validity period you can also uh, you can check your registration validity uh, in our main website www.techno.ac.in student has the choice to complete the program either within the minimum or maximum period of validity Uh, now uh, let me brief you the facilities made available at regional center 
and our uh, learner support centers to support the learners of igno first i will brief you about the regional center cochin the regional center cochin was established on 17th november 1988 to provide open and distance education in the state of kerala and the union territory of lakshadweep in the year 2009 igno has established another regional center at trivandrum and in the year 2011 igno has established one more regional center in kerala which is at vadagara the four story building of regional center caters uh, regional center cochin caters to six uh, districts of uh, kerala Co regional center cochin has the facility of gyanwani fm radio station computer labs classrooms Uh, recreation rooms guest rooms and library facility and we have another um, six story building adjacent to the regional center where we have the regional evaluation center study material warehouse and one of our learner support center is also um, established there uh, the center code is 14000 Igno Regional Center Cochin is located in a prominent and easily accessible area of Kalur which is very near to Kalur metro station and private bus stand. Regional Center is also easily accessible from North Railway Station, South Railway Station and KSRTC bus terminus. Now I will brief you uh, about the Igno website. Our main website URL is www.igno.ac.in. From the main website, you can download ID card, prospectus, study materials, assignments, quest, uh, assignments, question papers, all question papers, uh, program guide, etc. Exam date sheet is also available in the main website. and all information which you need to know will be updated in the main website from time to time from igno headquarters so it is important that you browse the uh, website igno website from time to time to keep you updated about uh, exams uh, submission of assignment dates uh, dispatch of your study materials etc you can also uh take fresh admission or do your re-registration submit your exam form through the uh, main website you can do uh, the convocation registration also through the main website all data pertaining to your program like exam results assignments assignments results uh, study center change address change study materials dispatch status all are will be updated in the main website of igno Regional Center has its own website with the URL rccochin.igno.ac.in. There you can get the information such as induction guidelines, brochures, newsletter of RC, counseling schedule, study center details, etc. You can also follow us in our Facebook page and Twitter. Uh, our study center is giving academic counseling, so uh, it will be scheduled from the learner support centers so you have to contact your coordinator uh, to know about the uh, academic counseling till february 2020 igno was offering face to face counseling sessions uh, at its uh, learner support centers currently we are go, uh, we are giving online or virtual mode counseling session recorded sessions of various programs are also available in the igno rc youtube channel So hope yeah uh, you have got an idea about your program enrollment number study center and validity of your program regional center website lsc website etc so that brings me to the end of my session thank you all next uh, i request dr prasida unnikrishnan assistant region assistant director of rc cochin uh, to deliver a brief on study materials fee refund uh, scholarship multiple entry and exit facility for selected bachelor programs over to dr prasida ma'am thank you oh, thank you ms sujini so today i will be delving upon igno study materials and fee refund uh, for special clientele 
the scholarship prerequisites. So till now you had you would have got a brief idea about the do's and don'ts of being an IGNO student. So IGNO study materials, IGNO has received the award of excellence for distance education materials by the Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1999. In fact, uh, IGNO provides study materials in the soft copy as well as the hard copy. The hard copy is already available in a booklet form, while the soft copy is the e-study material. For those who have opted for e-material, a discount of 15% of program fee was provided at the time of admission. I am sure those who have opted for e-study -E material should definitely download their soft copy from the e -Gyan Kosh link, which is available on the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. As far as IGNO study materials are concerned, uh, we say that the teacher is embedded within the study materials. The student uh, can uh, read the study materials and uh, do self-check ex exercises, which is given at the end. And uh, even a summary of the uh, chapters is provided at the end of each unit. Here in the IGNO terminology, we uh, use the term unit for chapters. Uh, for the subjects, we use the term course codes. So every uh, subject would have some four to five books, which is called blocks, and each blocks are made of units. So definitely before writing your term and examinations, all of you are requested to kindly download your study materials from the e Kosh link of the IGNO website and start reading now itself. So how do you uh, download the study materials from e Kosh? please log in to the e Kosh link, which is available on the IGNO website. So this is the screenshot of the website, which opens. Uh, you need to go to the search repository window, which is on the top right hand corner, type course code or course name or the relevant keyword from the content you are searching for and press the enter key. Means any course code which you are searching for, you just put it in the uh, search option and you can click on it and then you can download the respective uh, course codes which you are looking for and you can open it using the view open button and you can download the study materials. The other option is to browse through the community list by clicking India in the home page. So uh, we also have an IGNO e-content app which can be easily downloaded in any Android enabled phones uh, and uh, you can download it from Play Store and install it in your mobile and you can also download all the study materials through you can view and study these materials through this app so students of july 2022 session can definitely uh, would be definitely receiving their materials and the dispatch status of the study materials uh, can be viewed on the igno website the link is already given that is http igno ac.in slash igno up slash about igno slash division slash mpdd slash material so this is the link uh, through which you can download uh, the dispatch status of your study materials as you see the dispatch status of the study materials of the july 2022 session is already available on the website so all those students who are anxious in knowing about when we will receive our study materials please click on this uh, link that is http igno.ac.in slash igno slash about igno slash division slash mpdd slash material and please know your dispatch status. So uh, I have given a, you a brief uh, view about the igno study materials. Uh, now I would be talking about the fee refund for special clientele and the scholarship prerequisites. So basically there are four schemes which are available for the IGNO students. One is the direct benefit scheme. Second is the Kerala state government scholarship scheme. Third is the minority scholarship scheme. And fourth is the scholarship for dis differently abled. For fee refund of special uh, clientele, the prerequisites are like for the direct uh, benefit scheme at the time of admission, many of the students of July 2022 session would have already availed this benefit because SCST had fee exemption for certain programs like a certificate, diploma and UG programs. So students would have already availed this benefit of this direct benefit scheme. Second, we have the Kerala State Government Scholarship Scheme. Uh, you can collect this form from the Social Welfare Department or from IGNO Regional Center Cochin. You can fill up this form. This uh, scheme is specifically for the 
PG students uh, for uh, and for those students for whom the scholarship is not available for SCST learners, they can uh, submit the duly filled form to the IGNO Regional Center Coaching along with an IGNO ID and caste certificate and income certificate. Usually it takes six to eight months to get the scholarship and the scholarship amount is paid only through the NEF settlement. Next, we have uh, other scholarship schemes like the minority scholarship scholarship scheme, which a student can avail through the national scholarship portal. Students, uh, there are various government schemes, uh, scholarship schemes, which are available on this portal. And accordingly, and as per their convenience, the student can apply for the scholarship schemes, which are available on the portal. That is www.nsp.gov.in. The next, we have scholarship for dis differently abled also. Uh, they can avail the scholarship through the National Handicapped Finance and Development Corporation. You can visit this website, www.nhfdc.nic.in, and you can view the various schemes under which you can apply as a uh, student of IGNO, and you can avail for this scholarship. So these are some of the prerequisites uh, of the scholarship schemes which are available for the IGNO students. Now I will be talking about the multiple entry and multiple exit for bachelor's degree programs. Recently, uh, through a notification of IGNO, uh, there, uh, there was a, a scheme for multiple entry and multiple exit facility for IGNO programs for students from July 2022 admission cycle onwards. And this policy is mainly applicable for BAG, BCOM G, BSAG, and BCA programs of IGNO. So uh, basically, a student who has registered for the undergraduate level program, that is the BAG or uh, BCom G, any level program of IGNO, after completion of first year, that is the two semesters of study, uh, the student would be awarded an undergraduate certificate, that is a UG certificate would be awarded. Similarly, after completion of two years, that is four semesters of study at the UG level, undergraduate diploma would be awarded. Similarly, after completion of three years of study, a general bachelor's degree program would be awarded. So this scheme is presently available for our UG level students of BAG, BCom G, BSCG and BCA program and students who have registered for the BCA program of IGNO. Next, I would like to invite my colleague, Dr. VT Jalja Kumari, Assistant Regional Director, to kindly delve on the topic online counseling, channel based counseling, and project internship, Viva Vose, internal assessment at IGNO, examination and convocation. Ma'am, I warmly welcome you to this session. Thank you, Dr. Prasida. My dear students, once again, I welcome all of you to. Indira Gandhi National Open University, the National um, Open Distance Learning uh, Institution or a university in India. You, all of you are now IGNU's enrolled students. You have an enrollment number. Many of uh, you have received your study materials. You may be thinking of your counseling sessions or counsel classes from IGNU. And uh, our uh, Madam Sujini has already told that now IGNU is providing our students with online classes, online counseling sessions. By the name itself, you can understand that it is not teaching sessions, but counseling sessions. Means uh, the teachers who are engaged with the online counseling sessions are delivering uh, information as per your requirements and as per your doubts and all. These counseling sessions are conducted by LSS. LSS means your learner support centers, means your study centers. At the time of admission, you have selected your study center. And from that study center, our approved academic counselors. These approved academic counselors are approved teachers of IGNO. They are giving you uh, counseling sessions on your courses. And the platform for which we are using is sometimes it may be Google Meet, otherwise, it may be a Zoom meet. Whatever it may be, it will be informed to you uh, through emails or SMS uh, like that from uh, you know itself, you know, regional center itself. But the counseling sessions are conducted by the study centers. 
so you you should be very much alert about the uh, sms received from ignore regional center kochi you don't say that i didn't know anything about our class and all so once you have uh, you may be um, aware that we were specifically asking your email id your phone number so what phone number or which phone number you have given in your registration time in your registration application the same may be uh, utilize uh, same uh, we are utilizing for indicating you about our counseling sessions so be alert with your email and uh, your sms okay then at the time of uh, this counseling sessions students should be too much um, serious about our uh, classes because we are not covering all the uh, content matters given in the study material but important things main things only we are delivering to you so you should be too much alert in your position in your attitude and everything you may please utilize the whole thing uh, in uh, handed over by the teachers in your class and um, you ask your doubts to the teachers and um, attendance may also be given at the time of your counseling sessions for that we are providing a link to you at the time of counseling sessions you know you know that because uh, during the covid 19 uh, pandemic period all students even at the school level small children were also uh, having their classes through online so the method or the functioning of the online platforms are very well very much aware to all of our students then you may think uh you may remember to give your attendance because in the chat provision a link will be given for putting your attendance don't forget to put attendance uh, but i uh, i am telling you that it is not compulsory to attend all the counseling sessions in the attendance uh, basis but uh, as a learner all the classes are compulsory for them because definitely this counseling sessions are facilitating them to complete their course successfully so you find every sessions in a serious manner and these sessions these counseling sessions are recorded and we are uploading this in the rc coaching uh, website and in the youtube channel now another facility is also there uh, in igno for the ug students UG students, especially the CBCS students, that is channel-based counseling sessions in Malayalam language. So, as the part of the national education policy, um, our uh, Ministry of Education, Central Ministry of Education, is providing the facility of counseling sessions through regional languages in uh, CBCS programs. These Uh, programs are these these uh, classes are delivered or broadcasting through Swayam Prabha BTH channels. You know Swayam and Swayam Prabha channels of education, and this Swayam Prabha channel, seventy, eighty, ninety, and twenty. These are the numbers of the channels. These four channels are utilized for delivering CBCS means. choice based credit system classes and this cbcs is channel based counseling sessions especially from rc kochi channel swayamprabha channel 90 is broadcasting malayalam counseling sessions for uh, cbcs bachelor degree programs and uh, i have already told you that this implementation is being as the part of nep national education policy 2020 live online academic counseling sessions are these uh, cbcs sessions so students can learn if they feel a difficulty in learning um, through the medium of english whether sometimes uh, not sometimes always there is two mediums english and hindi so there is no provision for registering in malayalam but there is a provision for learning in malayalam then you can make your studies very easily and with that understanding you can read your study materials at the attend the examination in english this is the facility you are getting through this channel based counseling sessions 
and uh, Kochi is the center for uh, broadcasting this Swayamrupa channel based CBCS class for regional center Vadakera and for regional center Trivandrum. So centrally we are broadcasting this from Kochi uh, regional center and every day from 3.50 p.m. In the afternoon 3.50 it starts, it's a one hour program and 4.50 it ends. So from Monday to Friday, you can view uh, this uh, Swain Prabha channel program from 3.50 p.m. to 4.50 p.m. Now, I am focusing on, so uh, study materials received, your counseling sessions over. Now, it is the duty of the students to submit the internal external assessment provisions provided to you uh, through you, uh, from IGNO and what are the internal assessment provisions? You know, we have science programs, we have arts programs, computer programs. So, varied types of disciplines and uh, programs are there. Some programs uh, have, means UG program, PG program, all may have assignments. Assignment is a compulsory a part of internal assessment for all programs. Some programs may have practical components. Some have project, some have internship, some other programs have field works. So uh, some uh, BCLA, BCMCA like programs have mini projects. So these are the components for internal assessment. And you can refer your program guide. Uh, Madam Sujini was telling about and Madam Rasida Madam was telling about study materials. So along with your study materials, you will get a program guide or a handbook for your project and internships. So all these matters means what are, what are the provisions included in your internal assessment will be available along with your study materials. At the same time, the students who have opted uh, soft copy of study materials can download the handbook uh, for your project internship and at the same time the program guide from uh, our e-gyan kosh e-gyan kosh is there uh, and that was also the link was also given and uh, you can download the uh, these type of documents or handbooks uh, for your completion of your study and uh, you can thoroughly go through these study, uh, these books to know how you can prepare these internal assessment uh, documents of projects, your internships and all and where you can submit all these. Because why I am telling like this, some of the uh, records have to be submitted at regional center, some may have to be at a study center and some others are at headquarters, headquarters student evaluation division. So you go through your program guide before, prior to the learning materials, you go through your study, uh, program guide and uh, make it sure what is the uh, thing to do and where it has to be submitted. So these are the internal assessment provision. Now, another internal assessment provision is there other than that of this project internship and uh, practical reports and all. That is assignment. So it is a compulsory part for all students. So without any uh, difference between this disciplines, programs, courses, all students have to prepare assignment, assignment for each course. You prepare your assignment uh, as per the directions given in the assignment questions and uh, which can be downloaded from IGNO website in the student zone. And from e Gosh also, all these materials are available. The screenshot is given here. Please go through that. The previous one, please. The screenshot is clearly telling you from where you will get it. It is the UNO website, uh, homepage. In the homepage, the fourth provision, student support is there. In student support, in the encircled uh, downloads, you can see. And uh, click on that. And there, the assignments is there. You can download the assignments from the concerned programs. Some students have master degree program, bachelor degree, PG diploma, certificate like that it is there. 
so which one is um, your option click on that and download the assignment questions then you go through your study materials and take your own time prepare well and submit because it is an internal assessment part so 30 percentage of the uh, total uh, mark or weightage this 30 percentage goes to your assignments and the 70 percentage is for your term and examination and when you are submitting your assignment where to submit that i will tell you first you can submit your assignment in the study center only because you know what which is your study center one code is there starting with one four and that study center for example sh college is a study center the regional center campus one study center one four triple zero is like that like that you have one study center submit your handwritten assignment in hard copy there another portion, uh, provision is that you can submit your assignment by post and at the same time you can submit your assignment in soft copy using the link given in the rc coaching website rc coaching website once again i will tell you rc coaching dot ignu dot ac dot in you click on that and the rc coaching website will be opened there in the student corner you can uh, submit your soft copy of assignment means it is not the typed one but it is the scanned copy of the handwritten assignment so you prepare your assignment handwritten and uh, scan it and you can submit it and some guidelines are given here for the soft copy submission kindly go through that the first thing is that this the scanned copy of the handwritten assignment only you can submit and the file size should be maximum of 100 in this size and you can uh, submit it in the pdf format Other then what will happen you know that uh, if it is in a word file sometimes the format may be uh, possibility is there to change the format so make it uh, compatible with the system you can uh, convert it into pdf form and then there is no provision for submitting your assignments attached with the emails only your assignments can be submitted in the provided link so, uh, and be uh, careful to write the assignments of the registered courses only so you end, uh, at the time of your online registration you are selecting some courses but you may not be that much aware what all courses you have selected for so after completion of the work now it is completed you do one thing you go to the ignu website student support is there click on student uh, zone there know your registration details in that uh, link it is given clearly with your name and uh, ignu is welcoming you you can see all the details given by you at the time of your application submission your name your email id your phone number other details and especially for the courses for which you have registered at the time of online registration so be familiar with the courses for which you have registered download the assignment of that courses only and identify the study materials blocks units of that courses then you write the assignments peacefully then scan that handwritten assignment then submit it that is why i told specifically that write the assignment responses for the registered courses only you don't change the course name and course code then once again please the previous one and uh, you may write your student en enrollment number specifically on the uh, assignment written and while scanning this one make sure that the scanned copy is very much readable otherwise the evaluator can cannot uh, evaluate and and uh, it is essential being readable otherwise if the mark uh, given to you will not be a justifiable one so it is your responsibility to make the written thing in a clear manner uh, for submission and then only you submit it in the online uh, link and uh, the necessary uh, details they are asking your enrollment number program course code like that 
or maybe return in that like that don't uh, repeat your assignments once it is submitted in the soft copy form don't write again uh, don't submit again in the hard copy in any way in the center uh, here and there so many um, errors are being committed by the students don't do like that submitted either in soft copy or in hard copy that is only okay okay then now so uh, this is the second thing uh, once again i remind you the other internal assessment components i already told this uh, practical field work internship projects and all now the external part external part is time and examination so let us go through time and examination provision time and examination you know that is the end of the semester or year every student has to register for time and examination the registration provision is given in the igno website there you uh, click on the registration for time and examination and you register online and every year like admission there are two sessions of examination that is june examination and december examination now you are the july session students year students can write examination in 23 june semester students can write their examination first semester examination in 20 uh, 22 december itself 2022 december itself so this is these are the two sessions of examinations so register for each session and write examination application form is online i told you already and the assignment submission is a prerequisite for writing uh, registering for examination exam fee is 200 rupees per course course means one paper then you can download the hall ticket from the igno website so everything is available online time and examinations uh, centers you can select while registering in the online our lses are the examination centers you don't think that all lses are but selected lses are examination centers that lse exam lses which are selected as examination centers will be visible in the examination registering form you select your nearest place and you give it and uh, uh, the provision given for the students of uh, abroad students means inter international students also we have we have some study centers international uh, countries you can apply for examinations even at that places through the international division of headquarters so if you are writing your examination in india you can write through this online registration otherwise through international division that is the only important thing i have to tell you then convocation after completion of the examination uh, the grade assignment grade your project grade the other all internal assessment provisions will be uh, uh, reflected in your grade card and your time and examination result will also come all together you will be eligible to collect the final degree certificate before convocation you will get your provisional certificate and the original mark list by post from delhi directly to your address and once you have received both these documents it means you are eligible for your final uh, certificate means in the convocation at the time of convocation either in um, uh, in person or in absentia you can collect your uh, certificate and for convocation also you have to register online now 30th convocation over in the last april at present 36th convocation we are expecting and for that uh, students are registering that is not uh, uh, related to your program because the students who have completed their course in 20 uh, 21 june up, up to will be getting the um certificate in next convocation it means i am telling you this information only because there is an online registration provision for convocation also so these are the main things uh, i have to communicate it with you regarding evaluation now it is the time for uh, uh, dr js dorothy mom our regional director to convey you the life skills for a distance learner welcome mom friends we were listening to the various aspects the components of uh, internal external evaluation the significance of the enrollment number 
the facilities available at uh, the learner support centers, the regional centers, and also the provi profile of IGNU as an education institution for in which you have sought the admission. Now, we just want to highlight on the life skill for a distance learner. The World Health Organization has defined life skill as the ability for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life. Friends, you will be uh, relating to one concept called independent learning, which we were told that you will be an independent learner because there is minimum and maximum period of study for each program. The uh, speed in which you uh, complete the program is self-faced and you have the individual responsibility. So also your behavior or your adaptiveness to the distance learning will depend upon the life skills which you have to inculcate while studying with IGNO. So what, what are the life skills for a distance learner? It is one is honesty. The next one is the ability to take one day at a time. Third, persistence. Fourth is expression of interest. Then steadfastness and peer interaction. We'll just have a look of each of these aspects so that you will know what is expected of you when you come either to the learner support center or to the regional center or when you interact with the authorities or with your peers of the pro same program of study. When we expect you to be honest to the peers, to the authorities, to self, to be genuine in relationship, in admitting faults and not to blame game and have no suppression or oppression and be open. Mainly, friends, this is to target at problem solution. Many a time we find that people, the learners, distance learners, being adult learners, and it is a heterogeneous group, they always associate it with their own authority in the social uh, uh, society rather than what they have to do as a learner. So when you come, when the coordinator says, please come at this time, you have to wait. And when you have to be genuine to yourself. And when you come to the help desk, either at the LSE or the regional center, what are the mistakes you have done? So that you, when you express it, we will be able to solve it rather than studying what you have done. And please, because it's a heterogeneous learner population, there will be younger people, there will be older people and people out of job, in job, uh, search, uh, searching for jobs, students, etc. So please do not suppress or oppress your peers because uh, like uh, uh, forcing uh, somebody to do your errands uh, while studying or coming to uh, the study center or the study or the regional center. And take one day at a time. Have time management. Many a time, the prerequisites or the deadlines are not met by the distance learner because they worry about tomorrow and forget to do what has to be done today. So please do not worry about tomorrow. When there is a, a prerequisite of filling in that examination form, please uh, fill it. Maybe tomorrow seems so dull and so far, but Today, what you can do is fill the form it's because once you do not fill it, even later when things uh, comes to a positive mood for your benefit, you won't be able to write the examination if you have not applied. And always think that it will take one task at a time. Yes, multitasking is the need of the hour. But when it comes to learning, today is assignment uh, submission. So I will target that. At that time, I won't be searching for old question papers. Similarly, uh, when it is time to submit the uh, application form the, for the examination, I won't be log, uh, uh, sur surfing of what are the study materials or the what, what things I have to do after submitting the exam form. Take one task at a time and little drops makes the mighty ocean, meaning Yes, we have our social problem, our family problem, our uh, uh, employment problem, besides our personal need to study. Because you have felt there will be some spin off benefits when you uh, complete the program only, you have joined this program. 
so you just put little effort towards the completion of the program of study and little efforts makes a large contribution at the end all problems have a solution be bold to take the process targeting at a solution rather than blame gaming or uh, uh, putting a self pity picture in front of the authorities or peers and do at least something related to your study in a day and persistence is needed that is do not give up it's more like slow cycling the distance learning every day matters and little effort matters and always think see it is like studying is like you no know, when you are checking your whatsapp you can be listening uh, to your music when you are listening to a music you can also overhear what is being in uh, told or conversed in the neighboring uh, home, uh, neighboring uh, room and you can also monitor who is coming and going whereas learning writing assignment something to do with studying you cannot do multitasking you have to sacrifice certain of your leisure time activities certain of your commitments also and uh, sometimes sleep tv viewing so little efforts towards the uh, the uh, completion of the program of study will help and be persistent uh, also means be being optimistic and view hurdles as a Uh, stepping stones do not give up that's what we want to say and uh, uh, the expression of interest is also uh, needed yes as uh, professionals in distance learning field and uh, almost all the seniors are only handling the learner support centers they will understand the body language of any learner coming but still the because the rules the regulations are so flexible to accommodate each and every one and integrate into the classroom to ensure inclusiveness you need to express yourself so express yourself be genuine do not pretend or link with your job profile when you come to help desk be polite when you have to have a complaint also and when you are right also because need, the process matters rather than uh, what is the uh, issue which uh, we have to address so that the solution is obtained and we have the inclusive or the integrated classroom meaning anyone can come to the classroom when especially in practicals and unless you have a special need whether it is physiological need or due to specially differently abled person you need to express yourself because the norm say that you can also self help yourself so that at the end the classroom should be a extension of uh, uh, the uh, behavior which has to be happen in the society so nobody is going to object if you integrate but at the same time for nature call where you the toilet is you need to know so when anyone will help you whether it is at the learner support center or at the regional center to tell you where the toilet is and don't hesitate to ask the same and personal hygiene the diaper pad stores are not always open either at the study center or uh, the in the regional center so you have to bring your personal hygiene product when you come uh, to the uh, distance uh, learning uh, institution and request to exercise the element of description to accept beyond the last day there will be some problem say when you are writing it on the day only some visitor would have come please post a mail requesting uh, the uh, coordinator to accept it beyond the last date and friends i should also say the new normal situation of submitting assignment response in the google form or uh, uh, in virtual mode will facilitate you to do beyond the social hours or the of office hours that is after and during your leisure time also please make use of that facility also and special need or medical need needs to be uh, addressed and expressed because you no know, our attire is also not so uh, salute based many a time we cannot judge the physiological or the special need by seeing the attire of a person so if you have special need or medical need please express yourself in the help desk always the help desk information is displayed both at the lsc and at the regional center 
and if you know that our our physiological need our medical need and our trend of dealing with stress either coming to the uh, regional center or lsc or attending the practical for that matter this if you need a spare dress you need to bring it along and the next one is steadfastness that is determination of, of what you have to do with the same dedication which may sometimes have a uh, you have, may have to sacrifice your leisure time activity also and you should have the commitment to do the best and always think of the spin of benefits definitely there will be one economic activity related with uh, your completion of program of study so please concentrate on that and peer interaction the necessity in distance learning is peer interaction we have we cannot uh, be a solo learner when it comes to distance learning but do not join peer who are demanding and threatening because when you interact it everybody will be friendly and definitely neither the regional center nor the learner support center will tell you the past history of any learner coming to igno and so uh, you have to judge yourself you have to have the discretion power of how you are to mingle with your peers when you uh, meet them I, when you come to the examination or in the practical and uh, do not join peer who oppress or suppress others do not join peer who initiate unrest many a time the person who initiate unrest won't be there when the uh, when uh, when it, people are booked so it is the one who is surrounding the main initiator will be caught so be very careful what is your purpose is to study come finish it and go do not engage in any other activities which will affect your moral later and be cautious of whom you are associating as even the dti that is the distance teaching institution do not have any confidential procedure profile of any individual learner and with this friends i also uh, rec uh, introduce uh, dr tom vargis uh, and uh, he is the coordinator of 1402 sacred art college devara in ernakulam district he, sir will be sharing about the coordinators input and before uh, handing over the session to tom vargis sir i just want to leave you with one message from uh, uh, the story of an as actually we say and the as has become old so the owner won't wants to uh, abandon it so he has put it in the ditch and he was throwing uh, the mud over the as and at one the as was so uh, innocent and genuine he thought the uh, boss has thrown it by accident and the boss is throwing mud to make the as to come out so each opportunity when the uh, uh, boss is throwing the mud on the ass, the ass jumped over that heap and then at one point it reached to the eye to eye level of the boss and told, I know you would have rescued me. I don't know, maybe I have become old, I have fallen in, but I, I understood when I was, when you were, when I was small, you used to help me to come out of uh, the ditches and they are, I am very thankful, I'll put more effort. From this, even though this is a small story which we have heard maybe in our school days earlier in almost all motivation classes, your attitude matters when it comes to your difficult situation. Friends, and so do not give up, be optimistic. Sometimes people who uh, are hindrance to your study, you may have to face them eye to eye. Uh, and the process is, uh, will be difficult, only you will be there. That is where we always talk about emotional quotient and also the spiritual quotient. Trust in God and move ahead. Over to Dr. Tom Vargis, sir, coordinator, Sacred Art College, who will be sharing about the uh, various aspects which you need to know when you go to a learner support center. Over to sir, please. I am Dr. Tom Rees, coordinator, SH College, Tevera. And regarding a study center or learner support center, the most important thing is the code. That is, our code is 1402. 
எஸ் எச் கோலை தவிர ஒன் ஃபோர் You are not audible, sir. Can you start, sir? I think that... Ah, now, now you, you can... are audible. Now you are okay. audible, sir. Now Please you can he listen to me. Okay. Yes, sir. You can yes. hear me. Can you hear me? We can hear you, sir. Continue, sir. Okay, okay. So, I am Dr. Tom Marghis, Coordinator, SH College Tevera. Regarding the study center or the learner support center, the most important thing is the code. And our code is, LSC code is 1402. And the students have sometimes doubts that where should we submit our assignments. The assignments are to be submitted in the study center itself and when you are submitting the assignments you should be properly uh, the name should be given enrollment number program code phone number and email id and usually it, you need not hand over to the uh, in hand you can place it in the drop box which is placed there and to contact the LSE the uh, instead of phone call you can send email while sending email your name enrollment number program code phone number should be there and use the email ID given at the time of admission and usually students have the doubts regarding the examination centers. Is it particular, is it necessary that one should write the examination in his own study center? It is not at all necessary. And not all study centers are exam centers. You can choose any exam center given there. And from some of the uh, experiences I shared, students have the doubts that uh, one student was asking me, so see in our in our state all the colleges are conducting uh, our uh, offline classes and why your uh, IGNO is not conducting on offline classes, why you are insisting on online classes, that is the doubt they have because all the colleges are conducting offline classes. And another thing is that they say that uh, regarding the degrees, degree of our uh, <coughs> IGNO is some, some of our uh, universities in Kerala, they are not accepting it. Some had some personal experience that uh, actually they applied for MSc Math, Mathematics in Calicut University a college in the Calicut University and the college principal was ready to give admission, but the university objected. And the most interesting thing is this, the university is conducting the distance education and the academic council approved that distance education and uh, the students of that distance education were allowed to join. But they say that no, no, no university in Kerala is admitting no students that is a great uh, misunderstanding so i think that the regional centers should directly contact the university and they should clear their doubts and another thing is that the uh, the students were uh, contacting me and telling me sir 
uh, before uh, four months i got admission before four months and neither the region center nor the uh, study center contacted us why this i told them actually we can contact you only after closing the admission so i feel that we should not extend the date of admission in this way the january admission should be closed by january 31st itself actually they can uh, you know can start giving admission from november december and january so uh, what has happened this time is that uh, some students joined for the course in june and they got enough time and even without a single direction from the uh, regional center or the study center the students were so students were actually directly going and preparing the assignment so these are the things thank you very much sir thank you sir for your brief address to our students sir uh, now next i would be talking about uh, i would be summing up this session in fact in fact our students have been have been hearing to various resource persons throughout the section to the throughout the session so i will be just giving you a checklist as to what you should be doing as a igno learner some do's and don'ts of being an igno learner so first and foremost the first thing which you need to remember is your 10 digit enrollment number remember one thing your control number is only required till the time you take admission to igno after that that number should not be used for any purposes pertaining to your study because the number which you you should be using is your enrollment number only because i cleared this confusion because many a times uh, we do get students referring to the control number which the uh, which they have used at the time of admission so you should not be using your control number you should only use your enrollment number so please remember your 10 digit enrollment number till the time you complete your program successfully from igno also remember your program code like for ma psychology the program code is mepc the student should be knowing the program code clearly you should also be knowing the subjects which you be which, which you would be studying under your program that is the first year subjects you have registered you have registered for the first semester or the first year of your program now so remember your subjects which you are going to study your course codes uh, your subjects are called the course codes so i have a request to all learners who are listening to the session please check your registration details from the igno website under student zone please uh, go to www.igno.ac.in and go to student zone and check your name address phone number in case of any discrepancy in your name address or phone number please write to us at rc coaching at the rate igno.ac.in for the rectification of the same also every program has a minimum um, uh, period and a maximum duration so if in case you have registered for a certificate level program the minimum duration is six months and the maximum duration is uh, two years so the student has the flexibility to complete his or her program within the maximum validity period so all students should kindly take note of this for semester based programs like for bca uh, the maximum duration is six years so please uh, go through your uh, validity period uh, in the registration details of the student zone and for any change in the name address phone number please feel free to write to us at igno renal center coaching at rc coaching at the rate igno.ac.in enclosing your igno id proof it is also uh, pertinent to mention that id card is a very important document which uh, is very much needed while you write your examinations because your examination center may not be your study center so when you appear for your term and examinations like for semester based programs i must say uh, the last date for submitting your online application for examinations for december term and examination is 31st of october 2022 so now is the time if in case you want to attend for December 
2022 examinations please apply online through the link which is available on the igno website next thing is assignments have to be submitted by 31st of october 2022 the date may be slightly extended because the admissions have uh, been extended so uh, please uh, uh, write your assignments and submit at your study center only you can write your assignments using the study materials in case you have not received the study materials please refer to the soft copy of the study materials available on the igno uh, on the e gyan kosh link of the igno website second thing is every pro uh, program has a program guide so please download uh, the program guide from the e gyan kosh link and start going through it because the program guide basically gives you an idea about the nitty gritties of the program you are studying about the do's and don'ts of the program and it will guide for your successful completion of your program also remember your study center the code the address and the email id your study center is the uh, center which you have opted while taking your admission it has a code address and email id and contact number so please uh, uh, write to them or contact your study center for further support regarding your study similarly for uh, now you have uh, registered you have taken admission for the first semester or the first year of your program so now uh, once you take admission to the first year semester next session the learners who got admitted for the second third years program of igno need to re-register for the second semester and second year online so when the january admission start again the semester based uh, programs like bca mca need to re-register for the second semester so kindly remember that three main important points, uh, especially for the semester based program and certificate level program is you have to submit your assignments right now in case you have to write your December term and examination. You also have to uh, submit, uh, you also have to submit your online examination form uh, through the link which is given on the IGNO website in case you have to write your examination and also re-register for the second semester when the January 2022 session reopens. So uh, further, one more thing which I would like to inform is change of electives is not possible for the BA, BCom and BSc programs. We get many requests for change of electives of these programs, which is not possible at our end. Also, uh, you can download your assignment questions from the IGNO website. It was already uh, the link and the screenshot was already shown in the presentation before. Assignments have to be submitted at the study center only in your own handwriting through hard copy and soft copy as per the link which is available on the RC Cochin website rccochin.igno.ac.in and the term and examination forms also can be submitted online only. For the benefit of the students, old question papers are, up, or are uploaded on the IGNO website and they can be easily downloaded uh, by the student from the IGNO website. Uh, you can visit our student zone and download the old question papers. Once you complete your program, the provisional certificate and grade card of, the, of uh, your program is directly sent by the student evaluation division IGNO headquarter, Delhi. And first and foremost thing which a student after listening to this induction meeting session is please download the induction guidelines. We have specifically prepared a 12 page induction guidelines which all certificate and semester based and all students who are newly registered for the July 22-22 session should download it and refer it as a point for completing his or her program successfully. The induction guidelines uh, whatever we have mentioned in this induction meeting video is already mentioned in a written form in the induction guideline, which is uploaded on the RC Cochin website, http rccochin.igno.ac.in. So I am sure after viewing this session, uh, you would have got a basic idea on how you can successfully complete your program from IGNO. So one more main instruction which I would like to share is, how to download your IGNO ID card. So you would have already created a username and password while taking admission to your program. 
So the similar way you can download your ICNO ID card using the admission portal using your username and password. The downloaded ID card is password protected in a PDF format. Uh, so the password is your enrollment number. You can type in your enrollment number to open the file. So this way you can download your ICNO ID card. In case our students are finding some difficulty in downloading your ID card, uh, please write to us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in and we would de definitely assist you for the same. But however, I would request all students to kindly download the ID card from the admission portal and laminate it or keep it safely till the time you complete your program and also receive your convocation degree certificate. So I'm sure after viewing all the session, uh, after viewing this session, our students would have got an idea about the uh, do's and don'ts of being an IGNO learner and how you can successfully complete your program from IGNO. Uh, in IGNO, we say that self-motivation is the key for being an IGNO learner. And I'm sure uh, all the IGNO learners are self-motivated to complete his or her program successfully from IGNO. So with these words, I wind up this induction meeting session. On behalf of all at IGNO Regional Center Coaching, I wholeheartedly thank everyone for the wholehearted support provided to us, especially our regional director, Dr. J.S. Dorothy Madam, under whose guidance and supervision this session has been held. Next, I would also like to thank my resource persons for this session, Ms. Sujini Babu, uh, Dr. V.T. Jalaja Kumari, um, and uh, our coordinator for the session, Dr. Tom Vargis, and uh, all other staff associated for the smooth conduct of this session, like uh, Ms. Ansar, Mr. Ansar, Reshma. A big thank you to everyone for the smooth conduct of this session. Thank you once again.